Surprise, I have a really cool diva patch for you. Okay, so this pad or this patch is big and amazing and it's kind of inspired from the 80s type of sound. Really, it's kind of hard to make a bad sounding patch in Diva. And what's kind of cool about this one is really a lot of it, uh, a lot of the sounds with the cutoff. But keep in mind, we can always change this into a nice little ARP here by just selecting the ARP one number eight and check this out. subtly opening up the cutoff and kind of just letting it shine a little bit like you do every time you wake up in the morning. Okay, so let's break in this patch here, or let's go over it here, because it's actually very, very simple to make, and that's kind of the charm of Diva, right? It's really not difficult to make some different types of, of patches, and it sounds really, really good. So let's start over here on the oscillators here. So we're using the dual VCO. The first VCO is going to be at 16 over here, the second VCO at 8. So we're kind of doing a saw wave on the lower end, and then over here we're also doing a saw wave on the, uh, on the upper end, the uh, second VCO. And really, all we're kind of doing is on the mix here, we're kind of just leaning a little bit more on VCO2. So if we put our mouse over here, we can see that it's 60 over here. So if we change that, it's kind of just how it would sound like. And then with this type of patch, the low end can get kind of annoying and kind of muddy. So with the high pass filter, we're using post here and we're going on the first one right over here because we didn't have anything. It can be a little bit too much. Maybe you can like that if there's nothing really else in the mix. But if you have some basses in there, maybe some drums, it can kind of fight for space. So that's kind of why I just had this over here at one. As opposed to that. By itself, it sounds okay. But like I said, you know, if you have a lot of stuff in the mix, then maybe you want to keep this on one. So if you go over to the filter here, we're doing the VCF Cascade, and this is a really, really nice sounding filter. And really the only modulation we're kind of doing with this is using envelope two at a value of 42 over here to the right. So if we look at envelope number two here, which is this guy, we're using the analog envelope two, the attacks at 10, the decays at 36, sustain zero, and the release at 40. And this kind of just moving the kind of a little bit right, kind of getting that motion going. Let's take the ARP off for now. And something like this would be a little bit more noticeable if we had a resonance kind of high. This one for this patch right now, it's a 19, but feel free to play with that if you'd like to. We put that pretty high up like this. We hear the beow, beow, right? So that's going to be the resonance and then the envelope moving the cutoff. And we're really hearing that motion of the resonance, which is kind of nice for that for this uh, song here. Maybe a little bit lower. Right, it kind of just gives that uh, that nice vintage vibe that we all love, right? So, yeah. So the resonance is kind of low for this patch, but like I said, feel free to change it. The rough and clean is going to be on clean because we kind of want something kind of smooth and buttery and, you know, just kind of silky and smooth like your skin. Now, over here on the keyboard tracking, this is going to be 55.50, so halfway through because we kind of do want those upper notes to kind of have a little bit more room i guess or, or a little bit more space to shine right we all want to shine we're all unique just like everybody else remember that and this patch really sounds nice really anywhere we put the cutoff right kind of just mysterious kind of just cut off and quiet and then we can always make it bright and brash and in your face
something like that. <laughs> Hopefully you know what that song is, right? Something like that. Anyway, let's move on here. So our and our, our amp envelope, Jesus Christ. Our attack is going to be 10, decay 44, sustain 61, release 41. So the release is kind of interesting for this one here, right? So if you want something kind of just really quickly fading out, so we go from 41. Then we can have the reverb kind of just carry that tail there. And this might be kind of nice for something if you're using something like that in trance or something. around there but usually 41 is kind of nice anywhere higher it's just going to kind of get a little bit too much unless you're playing something really slow and you really want that long release phase so really the last couple things we're doing here we're on chorus for our first effect and this is on ensemble which has kind of been my favorite i really like this type of chorus on uh, on, on diva the wet we kind of just drop down a little bit down to 68 the rate's going to be 50 and then the depth also 50. Now for the second effect, we're using a plate two reverb. The dry is 90, the wet is 35.5, pre-delay zero, diffusion 100, dampening eight, decay 56.50, size 150. So very large, big size for a big and amazing 80s. And then the final really thing is we can always change this to an ARP and it always kind of sounds kind of good here. So what we're doing here is going the up and down one and then we can select our ARP. By default, I kind of have this one at one over eight because it's kind of nice. And then octave is just going to be one. We can go to two, but it can be a little much. So let's see what that sounds like. kind of cool but uh i kind of always preferred one for this patch and yeah that's pretty much it we're actually not even using any additional voices our stack is just one we're not even using any of that so it's just really two oscillators some filtering a little bit of it changing on um, the uh, cutoff for envelope number two and some effects so it's a very very simplistic patch but it can sound really really cool and that's the charm i think of diva So yeah, that is the patch, Big and Amazing 80. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Make this patch yourself. Kind of just get in the practice of making this patch. And you're going to kind of maybe change a little couple things and kind of tailor it to your own song. But that's kind of just the main recipe for this type of songs or this type of sound. So yeah, hopefully you learned something. And we'll see you in the next Diva video very, very, very soon. Thanks for watching.